Hey, how are you? Welcome back to Stitchy B. I'm Cheryl. Well, this week I've got a major fabric haul to share with you. I've been buying so many different fabrics. I've looked at thousands and thousands and thousands of samples and I've cherry picked the absolute best ones of the bunch and I'd like to share them with you. As always on these videos, it's not really about you looking at fabric just to buy from me per se. It's about me helping you understand a little bit more about fabric buying online. So I'll try and go through each fabric as we go and explain how it feels, what kind of garments it's useful for in terms of sewing, and also any other hints and tips that I can give you for care as we go along. Before we go any further, I'll explain what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing my Emma dress, which I made and reviewed last year. I'll pop a link to the review um, that I did on YouTube in the description underneath. This is made from a lovely polka dot ponty, which I accented with little red pockets and also the little red cuffs. So that's a great idea if you want to use up bits of scraps um, to add a little bit of detail to your sewing. This is made from the polka dot ponty fabric. Of all the jerseys, Pontaroma is probably the easiest to work with and sew. It's quite forgiving and it doesn't tend to move around too much under your sewing machine and it's useful for lots of different projects like dresses or tops or skirts. So it's a good one to start with if you've not found, um, if you've not discovered jersey sewing yet. Okay, so you can get a really good close up of the fabric. I'm gonna flip you around and show you each of the fabrics close up and I'll also move them so you can see what they might feel like if you can imagine touching them. First up, we've got a lovely little collection of stretch cotton. Now here we've got different types of prints and these are really useful for making stretch trousers or pencil skirts and fitted dresses, that kind of thing. So let's look at the first one. This one is a, an ivory background, summer garden um, stretch cotton, that's what I've called it. And this would be lovely um, for summer sewing, something for an occasion or a wedding and it's mostly cotton with a tiny bit of stretch which makes fitting really easy um, as well so you've got it's much harder to fit a hundred percent cotton on a very fitted dress for example so these are great for trousers because around the seat area you've got some movement there it also comes in the navy polka dot you know i'm a fan of polka dots so here we go and um, that's quite a versatile fabric and it's also not see-through either. It's really opaque. Now this one is a black and white stretch cotton. I've called this one Midnight Cosmos and um, because of the, the Cosmos style flowers. I'm not a botanist, so don't, don't shout at me. Um, but there you go. It's a beautiful print, really great. We'll go with lots of different things if you're not a colour fan. And that brings me on to this pair of gorgeous, I've called this a, a fancy floral uh, design. This one, the blue one is Azure Blue and uh, the reddish one, I've put all the reds because there are different shades of red in there and they're on a white background. Now these fabrics were around um, quite a while ago and a manufacturer actually uh, licensed them so we couldn't sell sell them at all and now they've been released again and I'm really pleased because I've been wanting these for ages and ages. Okay next up you have got to see this I'm really in love with this and um, this is a linen viscose and it's one of those blends which is a really good idea because 100% linen tends to be a little bit stiff and it can crease sometimes Whereas with this, you've got a little bit more drape. And I've called this the uh, artist's palette because it, it just reminds me of something Mediterranean, maybe a painter sat there somewhere in Italy. So yeah, this is destined to be made into something for holiday wear or maybe a caftan or a beautiful dress. Um, 
that there are so many different options um, you could turn this into. It's a really ivory background, which you can't quite get on the camera. Um, it's a beautiful, soft, creamy ivory, I'd say, and with this lovely lilac print. You could see up close there. Now, if you're still sewing for cooler weather, which lots of us have still got, it's a bit hit and miss at the moment, isn't it? Then this beautiful baby cord um, might be right up your street. Now, this is 100% cotton. It is a corduroy and it's got a very fine um, cord texture. I'll try and get that close in for you. If you can see a little bit nearer, there you go. And it's not as stiff as a, a chunky cord. So if you think back to the, I'm showing my age now, but if you think back to the cord skirts of the 1970s, for example, where you get a really thick, chunky cord, they're great and they're brilliant for a, a thick skirt, but sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to sew when you've got lots of layers. And that's where baby cord comes in. So it's really great for all kinds of, of things, really. You could even make a shift dress or a pinafore. Um, it's, it is lighter in weight, so you're not gonna get that thick, chunky cord feel. So you can see how drapey it is, but it's really soft and you'd be quite fine making it as a dress, having it close um, under your arms and so on, uh, because it's 100% cotton. Next, I've got some amazing cotton lawn that I just had to get this print. And um, this is the softest cotton lawn you can imagine. It's really drapey, it's super high quality. It's got a little duck print, um, which I've called flying ducks. Um, and it's on a navy background. So cotton lawn is a much finer um, texture than regular cotton. Um, it feels softer, it's probably got lots more drape um, depending on what you want to use it for. You wouldn't want to use this um, for a dress that requires a lot of structure, but it's great for most other things. So blouses, tops, skirts, um, lots of different summer items. I've made a, a kimono jacket from Cotton Lawn before, which can work. And so where you need a little bit more of a drape, it's perfect for that. And if you're really fussy about having soft fabrics next to your skin, then this is the one. Um, lots of the uh, Liberty fabrics tend to be made in cotton lawn, don't they? And this feels very, very similar to those style of fabrics if, you've, if you're not used to buying lawn online. So that's the ducky one. And then there's a really beautiful summer one here. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I've called this Kensington Gardens. Um, it's got a slight Monet feel about it, hasn't it? With the, the painterly style again, um, which would be beautiful for summer, wouldn't it? I could see a summer dress in this, uh, maybe a Tilly in the Buttons Bettine, that type of thing, um, or tunics, or a nice top. Um, lots of different blouses, blouse patterns I've seen around at the moment that would work really well in this. And again, you can see the drape. It almost feels silky in texture because it's got that smoothness to it. It feels cold to the touch. Um, so there you go. That's a bit more about cotton lawn. And I've also bought a beautiful one um, in this print, which is gorgeous. It's got that kind of, kind of modern 70s vibe about this, I think. Um, this one is even silkier. It's funny, they don't all feel the same, you know, um, that some of them vary. And it often, it depends on the color. So if you get a cotton, if you get fabric with lots of dark colors in, like a navy or a black, they often feel thicker and heavier. It's just because of the weight of the actual, um, the dye, uh, it does tend to add weight to some fabric. So yeah, this one is gorgeous. This is the Windsor one, uh, which I've called. They're all quite royal in feel, aren't they? I thought they felt quite luxurious and grand, so I gave them royal names. But this is beautiful and not see-through either. So it's a really good weight and it's um, 150 wide, so you can get lots of pattern pieces out of this 
this width of fabric. Still on the cotton theme, um, this is, I couldn't resist this, this is a beautiful cornflower blue um, cotton poplin uh, and this I thought would be quite nice for spring summer and it's got a really dainty little floral uh, print on there and yeah you could make this into all sorts of different things super easy to sew and it washes and dries really well you won't get much shrinkage with 100% cotton but always wash your fabric as you know before you sew it and now for something completely different um, this is a cotton batik I say batik I presume it's batik rather than batik but it's b-a-t-i-k and this is a fabric that's hand printed in India so there are lots of videos on YouTube where you can actually see this process um, working so um, blocks of wood are hand carved into these motifs and then they're hand stamped usually in that size and they're stamped and inked and stamped and then you get this beautiful effect so you have to be a little bit more careful with how you look after this fabric because it is hand dyed hand printed so and there's no reason why you can't wash it in the machine just be quite careful that you wash it on its own this one's got particularly high dye content so you just be a little bit more careful but they really are beautiful this is a paisley one um, which would make a fantastic kaftan for summer. I've got my eye on making that for my holiday. And then even more holiday style is this little turtle one. I've called this the turtle beach batik. And this is just a stunning, really beautiful turquoise. And you can see it's a really good quality. It's not see-through and you could make this into all kinds of different things. Beautiful colours. On to some more lightweight fabrics and this is a gorgeous uh, viscose and it's got a lovely toucan print I'll zoom in there so you can just see beautiful little miniature toucans with a tiny little pink polka dot as well and this is another wide fabric which is you can see how soft it is always 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 make sure you wash viscose because of all the fabric types this is the one that might shrink the most. I've never experienced that, but some do. Um, I think the better quality you buy, they tend not to, but always wash them. And this is another gorgeous one. Also, that would be great for blouses, especially a, a pussy bow blouse or a nice drapey blouse that you want to be able to tuck in. And as well as that, I couldn't resist this beautiful blouse fabric. Um, this one is a plum colour and I'll pop links to all these below in the description um, but I'm absolutely loving this one uh, it's, it's just stunning isn't it it feels like silk it's not it's actually polyester but it's it's just stunning isn't it I've also bought this one in a, a mustard yellow which would just be beautiful in a pussy bow blouse wouldn't it there you go you can see that one close up it's so gorgeous so drapey and if you were feeling really naughty you could use this for the poshest lining for any of your coats um, it would just stand out wouldn't it? imagine a really hot pink wool with this as the lining that would go really well or equally with the plum one you could have a really nice ochre coloured wool for the outside of your coat with this as a lining. I also got lots of jerseys so I'll whiz through a few of those. This one is a 95% cotton jersey which is one of my favourite jerseys to work with. Let's pop it the right way up for you. And this has got, um, as we're in coming, heading into spring, um, you'll often see the anchor motif around lots of fabrics in lots of high street as well. So, but this one's got glitter on I don't know if you can see the little shine there little glittery anchors and this is a 95% cotton 5% spandex but I think it's it's quite a good weight this you could almost get away with wearing it as a dress or t-shirt dress or a tunic it's a really good quality 
or um, <laughs> you could make another linden sweatshirt from this as well but I need to stop making lindens don't I and um, seeing as I did five last week <laughs> but you could um, and it would work really quite well or a long sleeve tee so if you want that nod to a nautical spring um, garment then this is a good place to start super good quality as well I'm having to talk quick now because I'm losing the light a bit it's what time is it it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm running out of light so I'll hurry up so on with the jerseys again this is another 95% cotton jersey totally unusual it's um, it's a white background geometric print really really gorgeous I, I can't explain to you how good a quality this is and also I bought its sister which I've called this fleck geometric fleck print um, which it's just going to work on so many different things this is and also because it's a tiny print you could use this for children's sewing as well so it would make some great little sweatshirts or hoodies or um, pull on trousers as well it's super nice and uh, really good quality next up how about a splash of red and um, this is a gorgeous tiny polka dot and um, scarlet cotton it's making my eyes go a bit funny actually so it's probably is you as well this is a really beautiful quality and um, I've got a pattern that Gertie um, actually produced and I'll give you the number for that below I can't remember it off the top of my head but uh, imagine making this into a 50 style blouse going with um, some indigo denim um, on the bottom so a skirt or some high waist jeans that would be beautiful with this um, it's just one of those fabrics that will last and last and never days so I couldn't resist buying that one I also bought it in a navy with larger dots too and finally because I'm running out of light now I've got this beautiful viscose chambray now I've never had a viscose chambray before and this is the drapiest uh, viscose ever it's just absolutely gorgeous so if you're looking to make a blouse where you don't need the collar to stand and you want something really wearable and slinky this is it and um, because viscose is a natural uh, fabric it's produced from wood pulp it's really great for summer wearing so viscose also it, it takes the moisture away from your body as well so it's not going to make you hot and um, if we have a summer this year like we did last then i'll be wearing lots of this and this has got a tiny little dot as well so there are lots of different blouse and uh, top patterns um, that you can make from this that's my fabric haul finished for this time and um, thank you very much for watching next time I'll be reviewing the Sapporo coat pattern and I'll be wearing it hopefully for my brother's wedding I don't think it's going to get too warm between now and next week uh, fingers crossed and um, so yeah we'll be talking through that and different fabric choices uh, for coats if you're still making coats if it's still chilly where you are and also I'll squeeze in my shower cap tutorial as well in the next couple of weeks. Okay, thank you very much for your comments last time. I really appreciate your kindness. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.